what I got here is a Trail Oil Valley coin table. You see them bars, some of clubs. But anyways, this is the first time I really felt my table. Bummer from shot, so it says it's time to do it all. All right, this right here, I got it off Easy Builders. It's just some wool cloth. It's 85% um, wool and 15% or 10% nylon, something like that. But anyway, it's world blue. Well, I like so that's why I went good. All right, see, I already took it all apart. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Just a couple bolts on each side. Take off the silver parts on it. Take the bolts out, and then. Your bumpers just fall right off. And uh sums aside anyway. Pick the table up, you can do it. I had a buddy come over here, help grab each corner, just pick it up and turn it sideways. And set it up like right here. And these dark spots like, like this right here. And all that stuff right here. What it is is beeswax. Took a butane torch and uh just held the held the wax over it and just Kind of aimed it where I was going to put it at, and just dripped it all over, over it, and uh, let it dry. And get you like a six-inch putty knife, and then scrape it. And you want it to be smooth. You don't want to feel no, no like chips in it at all. So it took me a few minutes to do it, but hey, got it done. But um, I was about ready to lay this belt down. And some videos don't really describe a lot of things, so I figured I'd do it and try to help somebody out. I don't know if I would because I kind of messed up on this felt a little bit, but it'll work. But see, I already pre cut my felt. I got a nine foot section, and uh, that way I have enough to do my bumpers. But uh, I just fold it all up. So, move back to the center. You always want to start in the center point of your table whenever you're going to get ready to do this felt. I mean, it's going to be dead center, but. Now I cut my uh, I cut my corners um, at six inches from the from the top of this right here. I went down six inches and kind of like at a triangle V, so I have enough to wrap under it. And then everywhere else, like on the sides, on this side, you know, all of it four inches, so just enough to go down and up. You have about three and a three and a quarter, something like that inches up underneath it, but uh, that's what this is right here, so you see it kind of messed up, but uh, I was getting ready to spray the adhesive on it, I'm using this uh, 3 mil, 3 mil Super 77 multi purchase of adhesive, it's pretty good stuff as they say, and um, you spray it on the top, you know, just like your rails, how they hang over, you want to do about that, about that wide, all the way around the table. You also want to do all the way up underneath it about as much as the same, about the, like I had four inches under there. You want to spray at least four to five inches so you have enough room to play with. And uh, you want to start at one side of your table, this the top part, or down that side, so you can get a good stretch on it all the way across it. So you want it to be, you know, tight. So that's what I'm about to try to do. So I'm just going to flip these up so I'm going to get on the felt. Just like that right there. Just make sure it's in the center somewhat so we can go fold it over and ain't all, all over the place. So let's see how good it does. If I mess up, oh well. Got to fix it. It's life. Learn day by day. And when you spray it, if you can get a little bit on the edges around through here on the, the side of the table, that's good to help hold it. But do what you can. There ain't nobody's perfect.
Look at this. A good solid, good solid stick. kind of raise up on the table. As high as you can get it. I just kind of feel, see how it's loose. some more. Get it tight.
right side to do it with would be as hard. You should be able to run your hand across it just like that and not bulge up on you. You got a little spot right there, but should be alright. I ain't perfect. Like I said, it's the first time, so it just kind of looks a little bit. You don't want that. Any size I want, any size I want it to be, but it's gonna have good rolling, good speed, pretty good felt, you know, for what I paid for. This felt was, uh, it was like sixty-eight, sixty-seven dollars off easy building, and then everything is twenty percent off. You know, if you purchase more than just one thing, like a couple of different things, and I wanted it, but uh. The bumpers over there, they're over there drying, if you can see them in the video, but all it is, I just use some of that, uh, you can get it low, everything you get it low is but stuff for your table. This uh, Wellwood contact cement, it's on a black and red can. Just get your old, cheap old brush. Put a good coat on it, kind of sand it down a little bit. Make sure you get most of the adhesive off that's already on there or cement. But, uh, other than that, it's just kind of plain and simple. If you know anything about just uh, any kind of restoration, you know, you'd be familiar with some of this stuff. But um, before you do anything, before you do the felt, the wax, and all that, you know, you want to scrape the edges where you're going to spray that adhesive that was already down. You kind of want to hit that with a scraper real quick, trying to get it off. And uh, I cleaned my table with Windex, and uh, it cleaned the table, came up clean pretty good. And just like to scrape it, maybe a little three 180 sandpaper, real light, scuff up so it will hold a little bit better. But just try to get all your like your little knickknack stuff in the table up because it will split on the table. This that's uh that's kind of messed up. Still a little, still a little. Lose. I'm just gotta get it right, can Be like, I'll fix it. That's all I can do. A little bit, like that, a little bit better. It'll work. Yeah, it's right there. That's not what's wrong. But it's tight enough. Make me happy. My girlfriend stopped bitching at me about doing it. Just like everything else, you know. Clean to this, clean to that.